what's going on everybody? This is episode number 20 of the Black Dad Chronicles. I am your host, Courtney McIntosh. And you can find the Black Dad Chronicles on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram at the Black Dad Chronicles. You can find me on Twitter at Mr. Courtney Mac. So I have a guest with me today. Um, my wife, Robin, is joining me again. Uh, <laughs> Hello, everybody. She's a little tired because we're recording this late at night. Um, but we're going to talk family time and family memories specifically. Um, she and I have two totally different viewpoints on the subject because, you know, uh, we were raised differently. You know what I'm saying? We have two totally different backgrounds when it comes to like family time and family memories, you know, as kids. So, um, you know, we're, we're just going to talk about our, our differences, our opinions, and, you know, where we seem to agree. So, um, babe, you want to start it off? Mm, no, you can. Okay. So, last Thursday, I mean, not Thursday, last Friday, we went to, uh, the Toledo Zoo. We took the, kid, the kids on a trip to the Toledo Zoo. Um, also took my uh, my brother's son, my nephew, uh, Corey, and my niece, Shannon, who's Robin's sister's uh, daughter. Um, so the um, reason why, we, why I like including the two of them is because uh, they're the same age as our youngest. They're all a couple months apart, um, and they're all seven, and they're like the three mus- musketeers when they get together. So... I wanted to include them just because I like the kid. You know, I, I you know I love kids. That's one thing that a lot of you guys might not know about me. I love kids. Um, you know, it's it's weird for a man to admit that, or you know, even just be as like it's it's weird for me. You know, to me is weird because I don't know any other like guys that likes kids as much as I do. Like I truly love kids. You know. Um, when my my two young nieces, when we have them, um, they're like what two and a half and one. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's like a ball, and I'm like a giant, you know, stuffed animal for them. Again. Yeah, you know, it turns me into a kid again. Babies put me to sleep. I'll be honest. Like if I'm holding a baby, ten minutes I'm snoring. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. But babies, you know what I'm saying, put me to sleep. But I, I just love kids just because um, kids are like, if you look at these, you know, little tiny humans and, you know, you can actually see them, you know, like the light bulb go off in their head and um, you you can actually see them and watch them learn like in real time. So uh, I guess that's why I like kids so much, but um, that's neither here nor there. So, um, so we took the kids uh, to the Toledo Zoo, and originally, I wanted more kids to come, uh, my cousin Stacy, her daughter is 12, um, but her and CJ are, you know, our oldest are just a few months apart, um, so I wanted to bring her, just because when I grew up, you know, I can remember going to family picnics, um, you know, cousins Mm -hmm. being all over the place. Um, you know, playing with your cousins. There's a meme out there that says, you know, your cousins are your first friends. Um, and I truly believe that because when I grew up, you know, like I said, we had cousins, we were always at family picnics, um, making memories with our cousins. Um, we're always at my aunt Lenny's house. So, you know, my older cousins, um, were, we were always around them, you know, always having fun, you know, and that, that's just how I am. Um, now Robin, on the other hand, why don't you tell everybody about, you know, how you grew up uh, as, as, you know, as your family dynamic was. Um, okay. So mom and dad weren't together. I stayed with grandma. Um, and, uh, you know, I have two sisters, two brothers, um, a brother and a sister with my mom and uh, ex stepdad, and brother and sister with my dad and ex stepmom. Um, but I don't have the same family memories, especially when it comes to just being me and my siblings. Um, really, I guess I don't have very many 
like family members, not members, family memories. In reality, I guess not very that, not that many at all. It's just really was me and my grandma and my aunt. And then she had my cousins and it was me and them, but that's not, they were kind of, I guess you could say maybe they were like, more like siblings, but there's such a big age difference that my memories from being a kid were still just of me and my grandma. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't really remember a lot from me and either set of brother and sister, um, and mom and dad, like just us going anywhere. I know that they went places, but I don't really thinking about it. I don't have any that I can think of off the top of my head. So this this, this conversation came about uh, <clears throat> because you know Robin kind of got a little upset with me because um, you know I invited extra kids and she was like you know her perspective was well I want to make memories with you know just you and the kids and not always have to have you know other kids around. You know, and my viewpoint on that is, you know, hey, the more kids, the merrier. Like I said, I love kids and it's all a part of, you know, family. So that was my, you know, that's how we have, we have two different viewpoints on that. Um, And it it just speaks to how we were raised. Um, Like, you know, she just told you she was kind of like, you know, raised in isolation. But it's kind of cool because at the holidays, You know, we all come together, like, both sides of her family. Your family. Yep, my family, like, you know, we always do, like, we always do Christmas dinner at our house, so we have all the kids over here, you know, her brother, because, you know, two of her brother, her brother and sister, you know, her mom's side, they live in Atlanta, so they're never here for the holidays, but her... They were here a couple years, well, Brittany was here a couple years ago. That's true. Yeah. Um... But uh, her brother and sister on her dad's side. Um, Since we moved back, they've been here every year. Yep. And, you know, they have kids and it's cool to see them, you know, flourish as, as parents and see their, you know, and their kids are just, you know, amazing. Our kids are amazing. Like, you know, I treat when they're with when they're with us, I treat them like they're, you know, our kids. You yeah. know, I, I try not to. I don't discriminate. I, I you separate know, the, separate yeah. them at all. You know, if I need to discipline them, I discipline them the same as I would do mine. If, you know, I, I reward them, then I reward them, you know, the same as I reward mine. And it's just, you know, and it's not even, you know, I don't even feel that. It's not that I just feel that way with, you know, our family. Like, I do the same thing with Meech's kids, you know, because Meech and I have been friends for over 20 years. So I've seen his kids you know, all grow up from, you know, newborns, newborns you know. So, um, you know, that's just how I am. Um, but one thing, what I was going to say, one thing that's cool with the whole family, you know, coming together, um, Robin's ex-stepmom, uh, Sherry, is actually at every holiday, pretty much. Every Christmas yeah. she's over, uh, always taking pictures. And I love the fact that, you know, her and my father-in-law, you know, can, you know, put aside their differences for, not that, you know, their kids are older, um, but it's just, you know, it's just one big loving family. When we at our house, you know, for Christmas, it's just all the same, you know, it, we don't treat anybody differently, you know, the more, and like I said, for me, it's the more the merrier. But see, then that, see, but that's the difference because, okay, so... We always have family time with everybody else and create those memories with everybody else. So it's like, I want the kids to have those special memories of us actually going somewhere and doing something where it's just us because they don't have a lot of that because there's almost always other people around that go with us almost every time we've gone anywhere there's been other people other than us so it's like you know 
every once in a while in a picture somewhere we could do you know where we're out somewhere and it's mom dad see it. um so yeah like you know then there'd be pictures um memories where it's just mom dad um you know cj jazz and olivia we don't have those we've never done a family vacation where it's us going somewhere we've you know like we don't have that and so it's like one i guess because i didn't have that as a kid i want to actually make sure that our kids have that too um because like i said i don't remember ever and it's, it sucks to actually say this out loud but i don't remember ever actually going on a family trip with my siblings i don't and that's either set Mm. Um, my mom moved to Georgia I remember going down there which was a vacation for me but it wasn't necessarily something fun or something different that we did as a family mm. it was just me there I was a visitor technically mm. with dad I came to visit and then I went back home with grandma which I love the fact that I stayed with my grandma because in reality, she's the reason why I am the way I am now. And so, you know, that whole everything happens for a reason, but it's still, I still kind of just want us memories. And again, I guess I, I've never actually said any of this out loud before, so it's <laughs> weird to actually say, but it's the truth. And, and I guess like for me, it stems from because my mom was always, you know, taking our friends with us. Um, I can remember uh, going to Cedar Point with uh, Ralph and Felton. You know, I can remember she all, you know, she would take us, you know, all to like, you know, hockey games. And, you know, we used to have an arena football team, the Detroit Drive. She would take us to those games. You know, it was just our friends, you know. Um, I remember, you know, my brother was running AAU track and, you know, they had a track meet in West Virginia. So we basically took a family vacation, uh, to West Virginia and Meech came along. Um, our other friend or Orlando came along and then, uh, my sister Carlin, you know, her boyfriend came along too and we was all packed up in the minivan and, you know, it was just a family trip, you know, that I guess that this you know, I, I'm kind of like repeating the pattern, I guess, my mom said. Because my mom was the type of person that would, you know what I'm saying, if it was a kid struggling or something like that, she would want to take them in. Like, um, uh, to this day, uh, I remember uh, one of my brother's best friends, um, Melvin, actually moved in for us for about a year. Um, and, you know, Melvin was just like having a, another little brother in the house. And, you know, my mom didn't think twice about it, you know, and that's kind of like, I guess that's where I get it from. Um, you know, I don't, I, I, you know, that's the only idea I have other than the fact that, you know, I love people. I love community. I love family, you know, so, um, you know, that, that's, that's what it is with me. Like, so my, so my question to you, babe, is do you think the kids would, um, you know, would care if it was just us or, you know what I'm saying, versus everybody else. As kids, I know for a fact that they wouldn't care. Um, but, you know, it. but it's, it kind of still goes back to, like, me, like, as a kid, I didn't think about it, and I didn't know any different, and I didn't, you know, it, to me, it was normal at the time. It was my normal. Mm -hmm. And so, as an adult looking back on it, I wish I had had those memories. Mm. And so, you know, that whole, you know, when you look back and you say, Remember when we, do you want the we to always be everybody? Always be everybody. 
I know that, you know, one, I know you and I know your family and I know how you guys are. <laughs> so that's never going to change. But that every once in a while, throwing in something where it's just us. Okay, I understand. I think, so I do disagree with you on the kids. I think the girls would be fine, you know, because they have each other. But CJ gets bored when it's, you know, all of us out. And he only, you know, and you and I are interacting. And, or like, you know, we're interacting with the girls. I can tell sometimes he feels left out. So I don't mind bringing, you know, Suge with us. Because, you know, I told you he told me, Last week, he wished he had a, a, a older or younger brother because he'd be bored all the time. And, you know, he doesn't like, he's at that age where he doesn't like hanging out with his sisters, you know? Oh, I know. I, I mean, I know, I know he's going to get to that point. It's just. Oh, he's already there. Well, no. Like, I meant, I, I, meant I knew he was going to get to that point. Yeah. Um, but, like, this summer with Chug being here is different because he's here from out of town. Mm-hmm. So it's still different. It's, As it's a different. To, yeah, you know, last diff- summer, the last two years, he was, he was living here. here. Yeah. Okay. So this is a totally different situation than it was before, where he's been gone for a year. Mm-hmm. And so, really, this summer, I figured that he was going to be with us every day. Yeah. Or the kids were going to be with him every day, and there was, you know, no big deal. That's just how this summer was going to be. Yeah. Because of that, they all miss him. They all wanted to see him. They all wanted to hang out. Hence, they've been almost inseparable since he got here. Yeah. So, I knew that was going to happen. It's just like I said, every blue moon, every blue moon, I just feel like we should have something where it's just us. Okay, I mean, I can understand that. And that's it. Like, I'm not saying all the time because that's never going to happen. Yeah. Again, you're one, never going to let that happen. Right. Two, your family's never going to let that happen. <laughs> so... <laughs> I already know that and I'm not saying that I don't want them to hang out with my family because I actually like when my family is around but again I didn't have family memories as a kid so for me I'm creating all my family memories as an adult okay Robin told me she used to feel like Rudolph you know what never invited her to the rain get their games like they never <laughs> You know, they never invited her anywhere. And she said, you know, and she, and I, and I see, you know, why she feels, because she feels, she basically, you know, she kind of like, in in certain respects, grew up an only child, even though she wasn't an only child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I understand, and that's the dynamics of it, but it's like, you know, going back and looking at pictures, it's like. Man, we was at Wheels Inn, and it was like we was deep at Wheels Inn. You know, we'd be, you know, Georgia, we was deep. You know, Washington, D.C., we went, we was deep, you know. And it wasn't just family reunions, you know. We always would get, like, you know, I got several pictures that I can just go back through where, you know, we just went places like when the African-American, the Charles H. Wright Museum first opened. I was just, you know, going through some pictures, and I found one from, like, we went during this opening week and we had our neighbors, the Pattons, with us. You know what I'm saying? So, we was just like a bit, we was, my mom wanted to like to roll like with a gang of kids, I guess. You know, and that's just how I like to roll. But see, again, though, that's the differences in the way we were raised. It was me and my grandma and my auntie yeah. until my auntie had her two kids. Mm-hmm. There's a couple years in between them. So, she had Brandon and then it was the three of it was the four of us yeah. and then she had Lily and then it was the five of us and that was still kind of it for me yeah my mom came to visit my dad was here but I didn't like I saw him but I didn't see him like it wasn't you know I didn't live with him so it right. wasn't every day mm-hmm. so it's still small kind of close knit I guess you could say because it was just us. Right. My mom's side of the family isn't big. Oh, that's true. That's true. Especially, especially up here. Yeah. They're not big at all. Well, it's like... What, it's me, my of mom... Y'all, five of y'all, right? What? Me, mom, Cheryl, Brandon, Lily, Beth. Yeah. I guess you can count Randy, too. 
Randy, and that that, but the yeah, that and then that's another side though that I don't know. Right. Like I don't know for real. They're here. We talk sometimes, mm. but again, that's still the whole. I was still by myself. Right. So I had cousins that were here. Did we do anything? No. I had siblings that were here. Did we do anything? No. Well, you got pictures and stuff at birthday parties and all that. That's different, Courtney. It's a birthday party. Mm-hmm. If they didn't come to my birthday party, I'd really feel like an outsider. Mm-hmm. Or if I didn't get invited to birthday parties, I'd really feel like the outsider. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so, you know, and my family, we just had our... Uh, and so this used to this used to trip me out, right? Because, um, you know, my family, every year we have a family reunion. You know, Harvey 13, we get together. So... Not a family reunion, I'm sorry. A family picnic. We either, we usually have a family picnic and a family Christmas party every year. Um, so, um, it's real cool. Because, you know, a lot of times, at, at, that's the only time we see people is at the, the picnic. And, it's uh, you know, it's really cool to, you know, get a chance to see them, you know, at least once or twice a year. But, um, usually everybody shows up at the Christmas party. Um, but you know, it's been instances where, you know, I've had to work on a a family picnic day and I'd be like, well, Rob, why don't you go? And Rob's like, uh, you know, I'm cool. And it's like, I used to be like, yo, why, you know, why, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to go. You know, my family loves you, all that stuff, you know, but it was kind of like, you know, that's the way she was raised. You know, and she always says that my family, you know, didn't used to like talk to her and everything. When I know that's a lie, everybody loves Robin because everybody in my family loves me, so everybody loves Robin. You know, what I'm saying they probably like Robin more than they like like me, which is unfathomable because I'm probably like the favorite person in my family. <laughs> so depending on who you ask, I'm definitely my mom's favorite child. Oh boy. And I can say that because, you know, my siblings don't listen to the podcast. So, well, my sister might, but, you know, my siblings don't necessarily listen to the podcast. So, you know, I am my mom's favorite child. Deborah McIntosh, you know, you're welcome for being so awesome as a kid. And, you know, mom, thanks for being an awesome mom, too. So, anyway, um, so, you know, just that was it, you know. Just a quick little, you know, podcast, get on with with the wife, you know. I love, um, you know, any time I get to spend with her. And recently, you know, lately, we haven't, see, it feels like we haven't really been able to, you know, hang out like we were, you know, for a couple of weeks. For the last couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? Opposite schedules. Yeah, yeah, we got opposite schedules. She works really early. I'm usually working late. Um... And then on the weekends, you know, if I'm not working, uh, I've had some, you know, gotten some private chef work picking up. So, you know, I am like yesterday was my off day and I was pretty much like I worked the whole day, you know, so, which I mean, I'm making money, you know, so, but, uh, you know, that's it for this week's episode. Um, like I said, if you want to join the conversation, if you know a black dad who would like their story told, or if you are a black dad who would like your story told, want to sit down and just talk fatherhood, you know, just shoot me an email, blackdadcron at gmail.com. You can also go to facebook.com slash the black dad chronicles. You can send me a message on Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Instagram is probably my favorite social media site just because I take a lot of pictures and I'm always uploading a bunch of pictures. So, you know, I'm, I'm on Instagram at the Black Dad Chronicles. Well, at Black Dad Chronicles. I'm on Twitter at Mr. Courtney Mac. That's M-A-C. And, you know, I take that back. Twitter is probably my favorite social media. Yeah. You know, because I'm, I'm always on Twitter. There'll be instances where, you know, we can go by. I won't post any pictures on Instagram. But, I mean, I check Twitter 10, 15 times a day at least. Your Twitter is my Facebook. Yeah, and Robin just stays on Facebook. Like, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and she be, I see that thumb just scrolling up and down the screen, you know. So, but yeah, I mean, that's how I am on Twitter just because I like, you know, the access to Twitter. So, you know, 
Give me a shout on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, whatever you want. And like I said, you know, join the conversation. Uh, and I can't let you guys go this week without mentioning my sponsor, Relax by Jay Mace. Look, man, my boy Johnny Mason been building these handmade, custom-crafted uh, beaded bracelets. Um, whatever designs you want, he got you. He'll hook you up. Um, you know, you can follow him uh, at jmace300 on Instagram or go to facebook.com slash relaxbyjmace. Uh, once again, this is Courtney from the Black Dad Chronicles with my lovely guest star, Robin, my wife. <laughs> Y'all hear that, that, you know, that outro kick in. So, uh, we about to get out of here. No bars over the outro song. You got any last words? No. All right. Thanks for the support. Peace. Oh, man. This, my intro and outro is like extra wavy. That's what the kids say nowadays. Wavy, I guess. You know, a little small talk about. Oh, before I go, go to www.thevc.com. Um, hold on, let me stop the music. Go to www.thevc.com. We are trying to support black culture the right way. Um, we got news stories. We're looking for articles for writers. You know what I'm saying? Um, we talk black culture, but we don't talk nigger culture. Um, you know, it's a difference. Um, but anyway, www.thevc.com. Uh, peace.